All right, hi, this is Dave, and uh, this is just a fun little video to show how fast I can install Kaspersky Internet Security uh, on the Samsung 950 Pro M.2 uh, SSD. So I've already downloaded it, I'm just gonna click it. And starting now, so it installed in like fifteen seconds. <laughs> wow, that was quick. Okay, so let's start the program. Uh, the SSD is very fast and it's going to load the, the programs quicker too, like Kaspersky. So, and here's how fast Internet Explorer opens up. This, everything is pretty instantaneous. Google Chrome. Okay, so I've, I was so excited. I just put together this little comparison of four different SSDs I have access to um, using AS SSD benchmark. And I was really excited about the Samsung 950 Pro. Uh, because it got such excellent uh, results, and it was shown in that uh, installation of Kaspersky, where it only took about 15 seconds. So mainly where you're going to feel it, uh, the SSD's performance is in the 4K random uh, read and writes, where you're write, reading and writing smaller files in the operating system, and you're starting up the operating system. Uh, 224... 0.76, 225 uh, megabytes per second on the 950 Pro, whereas uh, 64 on my Corsair Force, Force GT 180. Um, on the writes, um, and 55 megabytes per second on the 950 Pro, whereas about 20 megabytes per second on the Corsair Force GT on the reads. Um, this is really cool. This is the, the 950 Pro is about three times as fast here. Um, and the sequentials are also very, very fast, uh, which is it's going to be noticed if you're doing a lot of gaming, map loading, uh, H HD video, music. Um, the 4K random reads are, are mostly noticed in the uh, multitasking, just web surfing and uh, stuff like that. But the sequential reads are also larger files uh, being read and, and written to the, the device. And look at the numbers there. Uh, 1450 megabytes per second write and 2188 megabytes per second read. And look at the Corsair Force GT, only 175 megabytes per second write, 452 megabytes per second read so I think that's like uh, really cool anyway uh, that's that you can see the numbers for the uh, the other Samsung drives in there as well and uh, the 850 Evo actually performs pretty well uh, but uh, I was really, was really impressed by the 950. So I did a separate test for the sequential reads and sequential writes, and uh, using a 10 gigabyte file, and the results were only slightly better. Uh, but nevertheless, the I was really impressed by the uh, 950 Pro. Here's some of the specs on my computer. 
uh, that I'm building for someone. It's a custom build. Uh, <clears throat> the, uh, you can see the specs here. Windows 7 Professional 64-bit. Uh, all the latest updates. Uh, CPU is the Intel Core i7 6700K. Uh, two times eight gigabytes of dual channel uh, G Skill Trident DDR4. Only running right now at 2133 megahertz because I can't get it stable at 3200 yet. Uh, motherboard is uh, Gigabyte Z170MX Gaming 5. Uh, micro ATX uh, motherboard. Socket 1151 for the Intel processors uh, with a, a Z170 chipset. Graphics uh, built in integrated HD Graphics 530. Uh, and of course, the Samsung not SSD 950 M.2. Uh, I'm very pleased with this SSD, it's very fast. And what I'm going to do here is uh, I've removed the sound damping panel from the inside of this, this opening here. And uh, I've taken, put, screwed in a fan. Three screws here. One, two, and three. Fourth one wouldn't fit. And uh, fan is an 80 millimeter uh, silent fan. It's going to blow air across, down across the chipset and the Samsung 950 Pro M.2. It's just a basic uh, layout of the micro ATX board. Uh, 